doing everyone? My name is Daniel. In today's video we're going to take a look at the Nokia 7650 which is a phone from 2002 and it was the first Nokia phone with a color screen and a camera and we're going to take a look at it today because it's a really interesting phone and on my Instagram it's Nokia Mom. If you haven't already check out my Instagram at destructive underscore Dan underscore YT let's take a quick look here at the Nokia phone and the first thing to probably notice is how big this thing actually is so we have 114 by 56 by 26 in millimeters or 4.49 by 220 by 1.02 inches so this is a big phone it's only weighing 154 grams or 5.43 ounces so it's not that heavy for the size we do have a 2.1 inch display here it's a tft panel with 4096 colors and a resolution of 176 by 208 pixels with a pixel density of 130 ppi so one of the first things that is noticeable is when we take a look here behind the battery cover we find the battery itself it's just a teeny tiny little battery the same one that goes into the nokia 3310 as far as i can tell it's a 3.6 volt battery which is only 750 milliamp hours but it's good for having a standby up to 230 hours so that's not bad now one thing you might notice is there's no sim card slot behind the battery and that is correct because the sim card slot is actually up here it is behind the top part of the phone which is a pretty weird design but since this is a pretty early smartphone and we're not even i'm not even kidding when i say so i'm gonna turn it on and uh let's take a quick peek in the os so we got a couple buttons and stuff i want to go around the phone first uh, we have a pj camera here's the display infrared so here we got on the front of the device the buttons here for selection a little joystick and the menu button we have a abc button call hang up button backspace your t9 keyboard and here we have a shortcut button and here we have a shortcut button as well and this one right here is to turn the phone on on the bottom we find the charging port and on the top we have a little speaker what it seems like and some sort of headphone jack but it's not a 3.5 millimeter it's smaller than that so here we go booting the phone up let's put in my pin code we're greeted here with a scania logo uh, the time of recording is 21 22 and the day of recording is the 14th of may 2022 so this is a recent video there we go it is on and as you can see this looks quite similar to what you would find on a more modern nice nokia modern listen to what i'm saying we're talking pre-2010 but um this right here is actually symbian and the, the phone is without even joking running on symbian 6 so this isn't symbian s60 this is symbian 6 now it's uh it's a gsm it has the gsm technology so it's uh as far as i know 2g i'm not really sure because um you know you didn't really have anything like 3g back in that day so i'm pretty sure this thing is running on a, a 2g networks it does have a dedicated browser it has a clock it has an alarm it has more languages it has predictive text input it has a calculator a profile selector it has an infrared part it's supposed to have bluetooth as well we do have a lot of features but um obviously since it's a symbian based device you can install apps on here but there are not there are a few games on it like snake what we got here this is a game extras 
Yeah. Nokia 2002 Symbian LTD. Feel free to pause the video when you want to read something. Nokia 7650, it's pretty cool. Sim, well... Bluetooth, there we go, it, it does have Bluetooth. This thing has Bluetooth 1, 1. 1.1. And we only have four megabytes of internal storage though, so don't expect to do much on there. It does have a modem. It's working via infrared. Got some tasks and stuff, and here's the internet. Yeah, that's, uh, we can go on the internet. The SIM card's however dead. The messages and stuff. Pictures, phone, and of course, if we want to go ahead and take a look on the camera, which is obviously over here behind the sliding mechanism, we are here with a little Fiji A cam. Yeah, for its time, it's probably pretty good, but I wouldn't want to make pictures with that right now. But I took pretty decent pictures. There are some of them here, but uh. Can't really go into that because privacy they're not my pictures this thing has a 104 megahertz arm 9 processor so i think for 2002 that's pretty fast pretty sure um for a phone that is and what i want to do is compose a message real quick on this keyboard because we got our traditional t9 and it's double pressing sometimes I want to write a message. Let's go ahead and uh, write one. I want to turn the T9 predictive on if I can. That is not. Well, oh, maybe it is. Three languages we got English, French, and Dutch. I want to press this stuff in English. Now, I'm pretty sure this right here is predictive texting so if i want to go ahead and write down almost now uh, how does this work so the word that i want is my own name there Pressing the star button will go through various words with three letters, including Dan. Hello, my name is Dan. I'm pretty good at typing with the T9 predictive, so that's uh, that's a nice feature we got. Now, honestly, this seems to be a pretty solid phone. It seems to be pretty decent. But did you know this thing cost about 730 bucks when it came out in 2002? That's right. So before the iPhone, before the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra stuff was there, this was really expensive. And we had a competitor too called Sony Ericsson. They also made similar phones running Symbian and stuff. So it's pretty interesting to walk into and just do some research on looking into other phones like this. Now, with that being said, I think we covered most of the most interesting stuff right here on this device. And with that being said, I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future and don't want to miss out on anything, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching this video and see you all later. Peace out.